and we are here Spencer Gorge Wilderness Area to do the Dundas Peak Trail. Because you do, you have to make a reservation, so they make sure that the trail is not like super packed because it looks like it's a tiny trail, you know, and they want people to keep distance and all. Because you cannot step out of the, the trail because of wildlife. Done the speak. Okay, this is the start of the trail. So which way should we yeah, go? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> We already have a the fork. first fork in a question. Where should we go? No, that way it's definitely the parking lot again. So. That way? Well, definitely not super definitely, but <laughs> almost definitely. Oh, it's all, the blue marks are here, so. Oh, okay. We're good. Dundas Peak is dog friendly, so you can bring your dogs as long as they are leashed and they stay on the trail. All the reviews that I saw, they all say, come during fall, come during fall. Even people that didn't come during fall, they say like, I'll be back during fall. So this time we're in the perfect time of the year for the first time for the first time which is very unusual for us eh yeah we are usually like out of season or something like that I think I'll go this way with shadow okay <laughs> go Gordon Good boy! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, I think your way was better. And nothing to do with the trail, but I just want to point it out, because I'm a proud mom. Dora is way more comfortable with those, you know, those decks. She was very afraid of it. Where was it, Diego? It was in Kelowna. There's like an old uh, train track that now is yes. just a trail with like bridges. That's it. Yeah. yeah, we did that trail. And you have to cross a bunch of bridges. And it was the first time that Dora ever saw one, so she was kind of like unsure. She went through, but like almost laying down. And now she's so good at it. So proud mama. Right Dora here. the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Yeah, so they always say to be careful here because there's a cliff. And if you fall, you fall. There's no oh, turning yeah. back. <laughs> there's no coming back from that. Let's see here. Another bridge. Let's see Dora. Show your braveness, baby girl. There yeah. you go. <laughs> go, baby girl. Okay. There's Which a way? side trail. Go, just go ahead. Okay. Just go ahead, I guess. Keep walking, I guess. <laughs> Look at us getting lost again. At least it's not like Jasper. Oh, yeah. It's not a wildlife corridor yeah full of bears that was scary did you see the news a couple was eaten alive by a grizzly in jasper not jasper it was banff very sad they were very experienced but they are thinking that because there's um less berries this year um there's less food the bears are hungry and this time of the year they need to eat to hibernate so i guess that's what happened and the dog, they had a dog too, the dog was also bad, so. And at the end, they had to kill the bear, so. Very sad story, to yeah. be honest. We always say that we want to see a bear, but not in a trail, like not in those circumstances. Far away. Yeah, we want to like be driving, like so many people, right? Like driving through Vancouver, and then you see like a black bear and the cubs crossing. That's all, that's all we wanted to see, but no, no encounters on the trail which well, I think would be impossible because we're very loud and we have shadow. So the bears cannot not see us coming. Yeah. <laughs> There's no surprising encounters when you have three dogs hiking with you. I don't think so. But I guess we'll see a bear in Alaska. Oh, if we don't, then I don't know. Then we're actually cursed. <laughs> cursed. We are lost. One more time. Of course, we're lost. We just kept going the same 
way we should. And there's like the, the blue dots on the trees, all that we're following, but then we're starting to go down and down and down and down. And we are going to Dundas Peak, not Dundas Valley, I don't know. Yeah, so Diego so. thinks we passed the peak, which is so weird. Like we saw one lookout, but it was a tiny one. I thought it was not the peak. So we're going back. So yeah, I think maybe we passed the peak, guys. Yeah, that was the peak. That was the peak? Yeah, we that passed the peak. That was so fast. That was crazy fast though. They say one hour and a half. I feel like we're walking for 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, the whole loop is one hour and a half, but like you get to the peak very quickly, apparently. Okay. I don't think the colors are ready for us, Diego. Yeah. Oh. I told you it wouldn't be that colorful. I saw a bunch of pictures and it was super colorful in the pictures. Let me put my sunglasses and everything's gonna be prettier. I Go guess ahead. this year is hotter than like what are you because we are like October right now. Yeah. So I know, it should it's be later. all colorful like in Ottawa. Everything's super colorful right now. So probably Maybe here. it's a late fall. Yeah. Just a little bit. I really, really wanted to say like hi to fall, the colors of fall before we leave, you know, to US. Mission failed. At least we did a great hike and the dogs had fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Bonnie, did you have fun? What about you? Oh wow. Let me give you some water. Now, time to go back to the car. Okay, we are on the way back. It's just a loop. So yeah, it's pretty. The trail is mostly like that, the way you're seeing right now. Yeah. And the lookout is nice. It is kind of expensive, right? It is very expensive. We've paid 31 bucks to be able to park and act as a trail. And it is nothing special, like nothing special at all. I mean, I understand that it's to keep uh, the preservation of the area, right? Like, there's so many places for free. Jasper, Banff. Yeah. So many trails that are completely free. Yeah, you pay the, the fee as a national park, but yeah. you cannot compare like this with a trail in Banff in a Jas and in Jasper. B plus. B plus, okay. Diego and his sword. Woo. <laughs> Waterfall. Oh wow. That's very wow. Wow, I prefer this in the peak. Wow, there's someone down there. I want to go down there and I want to be under that water. Oh wow. Shadow too. <laughs> so let me rephrase that. What I said earlier is not B, plus. it's A plus if you come here. C uh -huh. if you go to Dundas Peak only. Are you fishing? Yeah. <laughs> Diego, new toy. I already put the AC on in the car so we can put him there to cool off. Look what he did to my bottle of water. Your right. flask. It was so pretty before. I apologized like 4,000 times. And she was like, ah, it's just a bottle. No worries. And now she comes with that. Here, just to show you guys uh, how the reservation works. It's 18 bucks. And then you have a time slot. And you have to pay 10 bucks for the parking lot. Oh, by the way, she told me that we were, like they are usually don't let people come in with travel trailers. She let us pass because today was not a busy day. Pay attention, if you have a big rig, if you have a travel trailer, a motorhome or something like that, you might not be able to enter and there's nothing around that you can leave it there, you know? 
Low bridge. That was scary. <laughs> I have to remember how tall we are. So I measured it once, and if I can remember correctly, it is three meters. So we should measure again. Yeah. And make a note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we don't go through those. Spots. We can have like a post-it here. Yeah. Toboggany during yeah, winter here. Yeah.